I have a very special piece of hardware uh, here with me that I used to have. Oh, take this out. More empty box. Um, I used to have a Leica M9 rangefinder camera that was my main piece of kit and through a series of weird events it actually went away and through another series of weird events related to that event which I won't quite get into um, I had an opportunity to get the upgraded version of this this is the 2017 um, Leica M10 and uh, it's funny with these tech videos I usually wouldn't single out any specific brand for this channel but um, I will say that every once in a while something comes along that is so well made that it almost kind of transcends technology a bit. Like the engineering is so well done that it's almost basically a piece of art. And I definitely feel that with like Swiss watches, whoa, um, definitely feel that with like Swiss watches or Italian automobiles where they can be outlandishly expensive but the actual care and craftsmanship put into them is obviously speaks for itself. Whoa, look at this, wow, nice tower box, camera box. Um, you get, you kind of see the same thing with like, you know, really well done craftsmanship in terms of woodworking or, you know, something like that. Anything that you make, the cottage industry tile, style thing that's made with your hands. Look at this, beautiful. Wow. Wow, beautiful. All right, there it is. So that's the upgraded version of what I used to have, like a M10. Now, one thing, I was in the market for a new camera, and this is just a little bit of a follow your heart story. I was in the market for a new camera, and I was going to get a Sony, which you can mount these Leica M lenses on really well. And one of the disadvantages of these lenses, these lenses are phenomenal, but i got to say that their close focus distance sucks. That's the one negative of these cameras, This is uh, of these lenses. This is a uh, Leica Semilux 35mm. I have three of these lenses, and to not be a cons complete consumerist zombie, I try and live as light and lean as possible and be as zen as possible. And I think uh, we could all be happy if we all just lived in tiny houses and had maybe a Leica camera with a couple pairs of lenses and a laptop. But that being said, these lenses, the close focus distance on them is rubbish. So you can get adapters for that to mount these things on other bodies. So this adapter right here is an adapter for a Sony email. This is a photo diox adapter. Here, I'll just put this on here. Um, where basically um, with this adaption ring, it adjusts the close focus distance of the lenses. Because I'm always, when I'm out and about with this camera, um, if I'm at a restaurant or something, and that's one thing about a rangefinder is you always bring it out everywhere with you. If you have a freaking clunky SLR, you never bring it out with you. This thing's kind of an extension of my body. It's almost like a fashion statement, I hate to say, but you bring it out with you everywhere. But if you do mount these to another body, like a Sony E-mount, uh, the close focus distance can be reduced so this can actually be turned into somewhat of a macro lens as well because if i am at a restaurant i'm always kind of trying to lean back because the close focus distance is not very good for the price of these lenses that's the kind of only negative i have about them but anyway so here actually let's see what's in here so this is oh this is maybe wow they give you like a little tower of stuff oh these are manuals i see yep manuals in german yep this is, uh, yep, manuals, manuals, manuals. So the uh, goods must be downstairs here. So this is, let's see, what do we have? Right, ooh, wow, silky packages. Each one of these I probably paid 65 bucks for. <laughs> these, just these silk packages. Do you think you don't pay for the packaging? Think again. Whoa, whoa, dude, this is a nice strap, beautiful. Wow, this is a, this is as nice as a custom strap you'd buy. Well done, well played. So this is what do we have here? Oh, this is a battery probably. This is likely a battery. Yep, battery. Right, nice. Let's put this in. So, um, yeah, one thing I was going to say is that basically to to little oh they changed the that's cool wow beautiful battery in. Okay. I'll put a memory card in here later. So I was going to get a, I was going to get a camera that allowed me to mount these lenses on it uh, so that I could shoot video with it as well and the close focus distance could be fixed. But that was kind of everything in my mind was telling me to get that camera. But everything in my heart was telling me to get this because this is the, this is more of a piece of art than a piece of technology. So that's kind of a little story for you of like, if you feel into something um, and your mind is telling you one thing, but your heart is telling you something else, Go with your heart, for sure. Adapter. Power adapter. These are probably the plugs. Yep. Oh, yeah. Various. Wow, nice. 
Beautiful. Um, here, I'll mount this on here. So yeah, because this type of rangefinder camera is such a, I hate to say again, like a fashion statement that you end up carrying it with you everywhere. And any other camera is usually, you know, there are many great cameras out there, but this is such a, a, a extension of you when you take good care of it and have it for a long time that it ends up being um, something that you can have on you at all times and never gets tiring. So I followed my heart on this one. I'm pretty proud. But, uh, ooh, one last thing. I have a little um, exposure dial, ISO dial. Um, I have a little adapter for... Sometimes when you go to uh, shoot, when you go to shoot, uh, use the manual trigger, it's a little bit difficult. I tried to, one thing I learned was not to go overly accessorizing on this thing. The base necessity is pretty good, but I will say that having a little uh, trigger helper is handy because every once in a while if you're shooting street photography you will miss a shot if you don't have a nice extension to that so beautiful well anyway you know that's kind of my uh, life lesson uh, mixed in with a little piece of technology that uh, I would actually say goes a little bit further than that and is an actual work of art so uh, cheers <laughs>